To all police chiefs and training directors, Monadnock grants permission to copy this videotape for internal use and for distribution to other law enforcement agencies. Monadnock Lifetime Products engineers and manufactures over 250 styles of straight batons that are used by law enforcement professionals around the world. Today, using advanced technology, we manufacture a series of detective friction lock batons. Our latest advancement is a series of expandable positive lock batons. They feature a mechanical locking pin for quick opening and safe closing in the field. Monadnock remains committed to keeping pace with the many challenges and needs of contemporary law enforcement through its innovation and technology. The four-hour basic course teaches the fundamentals. Basic skills can become effective tactics for completing an arrest. The eight-hour advanced course teaches both the basics and the tactics. The concepts of escalation and de-escalation of trauma and force are reviewed. For information, call 1-800-PR-24-USA. Body blinded, hands up, balance. Forward shuffle, rear shuffle, forward pivot, rear pivot. Strong sidestep, weak sidestep. These are patterns of movement. Positive lock baton. Friction lock baton. Rigid baton. Two hand long grip. Vertical carry position. Outside the arm carry position. Two hand long grip carry position. Officers can move from one carry position to another in response to the immediate needs of the situation. Cross draw to the one hand outside the arm carry position. Or just as easily, cross draw to either the vertical or two hand long grip carry position. Let the circumstances guide what carry position is used and when. Strong side draw to the two hand long grip carry position. or draw to one of the other two carry positions. For an overhead attack, use the high block. Practice with safe training aids. The high block can be useful against being grabbed. Gain the advantage, then quickly turn it into subject control. Use the strong side block when attacked on that side. Blocking can be quickly performed from any of the carry positions. It's just that simple, just that fast, to protect and restrain. For a frontal attack, use the middle block. Fast and easy to do in close quarters. A simple skill can become an effective tactic.
use the weak side block when attacked on that side. Practice with safe training aids. Block, then go for the control. For an upward moving attack, use the low block to stop it. Stop the kick, then quickly move to make the arrest. Forward strike. Use full arm extension for maximum protection and effectiveness from afar. The advantage in this skill is reach, so maintain distance, not closeness, when performing it. The reverse strike begins where the forward strike ends. Use safe practice aids like the foam universal training bag. Also consider target selection. Full arm extension and sound body mechanics produce this skill's effectiveness. Front jab. An intermediate range skill for stopping an attacker who is trying to get in close. Front jab when an attacker is in front or perhaps is approaching from the weak side. A possible first step in achieving anatomical compliance called an arm lock. Rear jab. Rear jab when an attacker comes from behind or perhaps is approaching from the strong side. Strong side horizontal strike. Let the grip end do the close-in work on this horizontal strike. Weak side horizontal strike. Safety must be a consideration during training and so must target selection. For this close quarter work on the weak side, use the baton's other end. Middle strike. Fast, easy to learn, dynamic. In a clinch, break out using the middle strike, then move to control. Bend an attacker's wrist to release his grip. This is the principle for baton retention. One hand or both hands, the principle stays the same. Quickly create distance, then evaluate and take appropriate action. From the two-hand long grip carry position, baton retention is also possible. The principle, bend the wrist to release the grip, is the key to baton retention. The strong side arm lock for escort. The extra stability needed for escort or while standing and applying handcuffs. 
the strong side arm lock for takedown and handcuffing. A simple yet effective way to move an attacker to the ground for handcuffing. It is an important skill to know, especially today. The weak side arm lock for escort. Learning how to do arm locks is easy because patoned assisted and empty hand control holds share many common performance principles. The weak side arm lock for takedown and handcuffing. Easy to learn, simple to perform. Handcuffs go on, each cuff is double locked. Green primary targets are intended for non-lethal confrontations. When blocking, the whole body is green, except for the head, neck, and spine. When a subject control hold is applied, either assisted by a baton or by hand, in any banded area, that area is considered a green area. Green areas are not intended to, nor likely to, cause serious bodily harm and or death. Yellow secondary targets represent the upper limits of non-lethal force. When a strike is performed to any banded area on the body, that area is a yellow area. Red final targets may be considered lethal force because of the potential for serious injury and or death. Green, yellow, red, the three colors of a traffic light, each color having its own meaning for guiding traffic safely through a busy intersection. When it comes to the police liability intersection, the Manadnock color-coded trauma chart performs a similar function. Understanding the escalation and de-escalation of trauma is as easy as a green, yellow, and red. Manadnock's contemporary law enforcement products. Compact and comfortable to wear. Friction created along two precision tapers keeps it open. When friction at the tapers release, it will collapse. Spring guide end cap. The unique bore guide virtually eliminates retention spring damage or breakage. Steel handle. Foam grip. Knurling keeps grip from moving middle shaft, tip shaft, hardened tip. When shaft diameter is a concern, our ultralight baton may be the answer. Closing is more difficult than opening. Is there another alternative? The weight forward design SX24 baton. Our universal grommet fits on any one and one quarter inch diameter straight baton. Twist lock the grommet and baton into our multi-positional clip-on holder. MX-21 baton closed. End cap. Aluminum frame with foam grip. Chrome steel locking pin. Stainless steel spring pin assembly hole in shaft, shock abatement system and epoxy shaft. For general police work or public order applications, aluminum models. Manadnock invented the first thermoplastic police baton. Wood models. Various grips are available, along with permanent or slide-on stops. Manadnock also provides customized engineering and craftsmanship for special law enforcement needs.